Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm gonna talk about Android 13 QPR2 Beta 3. This build was released on the 1st of Feb but I was on a vacation so I couldn't make the video on time. However, late is better than nothing. This build has very minor changes that I'm gonna show you but what's more interesting here is the amount of hidden features we might see in the future which is something I'm gonna also talk about in this video. But let's start with the build number. So here I have it installed on the Pixel 7 Pro and the build number is T2B3.230109.002 and the OTA size is 133 megabytes and now let's move on to the new changes. Change number one is under settings then network and internet then internet and when you tap on the gear icon next to your Wi-Fi connection and then tap on share to share the QR code of your network and then try to take a screenshot you will notice here that I'm getting a black screenshot because now this page is secured and you don't have the ability to take a screenshot from it. But if you want to do this as a workaround, you can simply use another phone's camera and take a photo and then send it to your other phone. And by this you can keep it. But for now, Google decided to secure this page and don't allow any screenshots from it. Change number two is in the brightness slider. You will see here the icon inside the slider is smaller and also has a different orientation. And to get a clear idea about the difference, here is the stable version on the Pixel 6 Pro. And as you see, it's mirrored, plus the icon is also smaller on Beta 3 QPR2. Change number three is the speakers of the Pixel 7 Pro sound much better now after installing this build. I didn't like how they sound at first when I first got the phone, but now after installing QPR2 Beta 3, you will notice a big difference in the quality and the loudness of the speakers. So please let me know in the comments if you agree with me. Now let's talk about the stability and the performance of this build. From my experience with the 7 Pro, I didn't face any major issues and the bugs are almost non-existent in this build. And if you take a look here at the change log, you will see 16 bug fixes. So I'm gonna leave its link in the description below if you want to check it out. And when it comes to performance, it's also very snappy. I didn't have any problems whatsoever but this is only my experience with the 7 Pro. I'm not sure about other models. So please let me know in the comments if you faced any bug with this build so I can include them in my future videos. But if you have a 7 Pro, I definitely recommend installing it and enjoy the new features. So now let's take a quick break uh, by talking about today's sponsor and then get back to the upcoming features we might see in future updates. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys, head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below, then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is very affordable. To complete your purchase, choose your preferred payment method, input the details, and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Now let's talk about the upcoming features we might see in the future builds. Those features are hidden and require specific access to activate them. But some of the developers like Mesha Rahman managed to activate some of them and shared with us screenshots and screen recordings that I'm gonna talk about now in the video. And also I'm gonna leave his Twitter link in the description if you want to follow him and get updated. The first thing I wanna talk about is the wallpaper and the style app. In the future, we might see two new options here, one to customize the clock and one to customize the lock screen shortcuts. So let's start with the lock screen shortcuts. You might get a screen like this that will allow you to choose the right button and the left button. And here you have some options like the flashlight, do not disturb and the camera and also your home devices. Here's another page that shows none. So if you want to remove one of the uh, shortcuts, you can do this as well. And here's the left button. There is also a video recording here that shows how they behave when you activate them. As you see, you have to tap and hold on the shortcut to activate it. It doesn't only work with a single tap as, uh, as we currently have. So you have to tap and hold, then it will do the action. 
And when it comes to customizing the clock, unfortunately, tapping the option right now will take you to a blank page because none of the current apps is using this new feature. Another change you will notice in this new version of the wallpaper and the style app is the two separate tabs for the lock screen and the home screen. And when you tap on any, you will get the relevant options. So for example, under lock screen, you will see the custom clock and shortcuts. But when you go to the home screen, you might see things like the app grid and the themed icons. Another interesting change we might get in the wallpaper and the style app is the ability to create 3D wallpapers from normal photos. And this new effect will make the wallpaper moves when you tilt the device. And here's a quick screen recording showing how the feature works. You first need to select the photo and set it as a wallpaper. Then you tap the three stars here at the bottom. It says here 3D wallpapers and it has a toggle. The description says make your photos a 3D wallpaper that moves when your device moves. But unfortunately, the feature is currently broken and after activating the toggle, it crashes the app. And as per Mesha Rahman, he managed to activate this feature only on big screens like tablets. But maybe we're going to see it in the future for phones as well. Talking about tablets, we might also see a new menu item under settings likely created for the upcoming Pixel tablet called Hub Mode. This menu item will allow you to adjust some settings after docking the Pixel tablet. So if you take a look here, you will see the menu item is under settings. And when you go inside, it will give you the option to adjust the screen saver, the at a glance widget, the lock screen, and also cast media from or to the device. There is also another section, but it's currently empty. This one might include third party apps in the future, but that's only what we have for now. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the new and the hidden features in Android 13 QPR. 2 beta 3 please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thank you so much for watching and see you the next video